Hey guys, what's up? Assassin here today, and I've got a pretty cool little update for everyone. Uh, I recently picked up the new Minotaur paints from uh, Badger. Um, they've recently developed a brand called Minotaur, and what they are is uh, airbrush-ready paints. Really cool thing about this is they've just started out, and so far they've released 80 different... Well, there's actually 84, but in terms of colours, there's only 80. And what they are is basically all airbrush ready, so they're thin enough to go straight into your airbrush and to be used um, from the get-go. The really cool thing about this is there's also four extra paints you get. Um, well, there's actually three. One of them is a drying retarder, which is this one here. So that one there really isn't an airbrush thing. Um, it can be used in the airbrush, but you're not really going to use that unless it's in association of something else. Um, you also get three other different ones. You get a satin varnish, a gloss varnish, and uh, there's another varnish. Um, but basically, the really cool thing about that is that they're airbrush ready. Um, so that's really cool if you're going to be doing um, anything that's got armor panels. So if you're doing towel and you want to get some really thin down oil paints, and you can use that. Same as if you go over to Buy Painted's uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, it makes everything a lot easier, and since it's airbrush ready, you'll be able to get nice and even coverage without having to worry about fitting down a varnish. It could theoretically ruin your model at the stage that it already is. The other cool thing is you have 80 different paints, and these range from dark colours to light colours, and then you have something which is called ghost tints. Ghost tints are essentially what Games Workshop was trying to do with glazes. With these ones, though, basically they're really thin, um, they're airbrush ready, so they're not going to give you that that kind of disgusting look of where everything's kind of pulled. Like, no matter how you try and stop stuff from being pulled into certain segments, you're still going to get uneven coverage unless you're really good at avoiding that. So, um, the good thing about this range is that they're all airbrush ready, and as a result, you'll be able to use them with airbrushes, which leads me on to my next point. So recently I picked up myself the Evolution 2-in-1 Pro. So basically I'm going to be able to use all of this cool little crap and I'll be able to use it with my new airbrush. Ah, that's what it was, flat coat. So you have your different varnishes. Oops, come back here. So that there is the four extra ones you get in the set which is flat, gloss, satin, and drying retarder. And let's not all giggle at saying retarder, because if you do, you're a horrible, horrible person. Anyway, so we knock that out of the way. Whoa, don't knock that out of the way. And then that basically just leaves us with the other 80 paints. The really cool thing is all of these are airbrush ready. And if you do have a very nice airbrush, the one I just picked up, you can do some really cool things with it. Um, I'm not really too good at it yet, but I'll be able to learn and just having this set makes me want to go out and paint all different kinds of things. Especially with that new Fulgrim model that came out from um, Forge World. I really want to pick that up because I tried my hand at painting something uh, in the same colour scheme. It wasn't to do with 40k. But I reckon I could do a really cool paint job with my new airbrush on it. And um, with Vallejo Liquid Gold. Um, but anyway guys, I hope you like this little unboxing. Soon I'll be able to get along to doing some airbrushing tutorials and stuff in general to do with it. But until then, I'll see you guys later, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on my channel. And also, I am on Facebook and Twitter now, so if you guys want to head over to Twitter, it's at IamAssassin321. Or is it just I am assassin? Hmm, I should check that. And then I've also got a Facebook one, which is just Vengeance Studios. So until then, guys, see you later.